We all knew that this was coming and it finally happened in the birthplace of Protestantism in the place called Germany. Hundreds of people attended a chat GPT church service. Let's hear about it from Associated Press. Ich habe der künstlichen Intelligenz gesagt, wir sind beim Kirchentag, du bist eine Predigerin und du, das Motto ist, jetzt ist die Zeit. Wie würde ein Gottesdienst ausschauen? There are many concerns I have with such a service. First, when we allow Chatbot to preach a sermon, we do not allow the person anointed by God to preach the word of God, inspired and anointed by God the Holy Spirit. And as well, we do not allow the people in the body of Christ to use their gifts for the glory of God. I think of 1 Peter 4, verses 10 to 11, where we have the spiritual gifts. Romans 12, 3 to 8. 1 Corinthians 12 to 14. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 13, where the spiritual gifts are described as used for equipping the saints and building up the body of Christ. All these passages speak about the spiritual gifts that are to be used by believers, and those gifts are used in the body of Christ and empowered by the Holy Spirit. When ChatGPT does a service, it's just some sort of computerized a program preaching to you whatever they think they should be saying. Number two, chat GPT does not have the Holy Spirit like a Christian does, like a preacher does, a true Christian preacher. Chatbot is taking information and redispersing it. The word of God will not come back void, and I believe that God can even use chatbot GPT to convert someone, but this doesn't mean that we replace them in the service. The next thing I'm concerned about is Chatbot does not do pastoral care, visit, and disciple the congregation. Chatbot does not do this because Chatbot always tells you this when there's a question that they cannot answer. Sorry, I'm only artificial intelligence. I am not human and therefore chatbot cannot carry out the duties of ministry it can only disperse information how i see this service in this german church it's actually very similar if you went to a pre-recorded service and you just sat there and watched something on the tv there's no passion there's no emotion there's no hands-on ministry And there's no one actually physically, humanly speaking, leading the service guided by God the Holy Spirit. Now, I've engaged with chat GPT a number of times. I actually asked it to write me a sermon. And for the most part, I found that it was kind of just regurgitating or restating the passage. But the glaring mistake that chat GPT made was that it didn't actually preach the gospel. It didn't speak to the heart. It didn't speak to the conscience. It didn't remind humans that they are needy of God's grace, that they needed God. It was kind of, it kind of turned the passage into a great big explanation of how you ought to do this and basically moralism. Should churches use chatbot, chat GPT, or open AI for services? No. They should not. But we can use OpenAI as a tool to assist with ideas 
for sermons and even assisting a pastor to make the sermon more clear. For instance, I went into chat bot GPT and asked, can you word another way this phrase? Our sins have separated us from God. And it came back with eight examples, but one example really struck me. Chat GPT said, your sins have created a barrier between you and God. But as well, if you're a pastor, you are called to preach, to pray, and to serve this congregation that God has called you to. These duties cannot be replaced. But we know that many pastors, I would bet the family fortune, are already using chat bot or chat GPT to write their sermons and they're stealing them from chat GPT because we already know that many preachers across North America actually steal sermons online. So they're likely already doing it. But pastors are called to study the word. Pastors are called to be people of the word, to preach the word as 2 Timothy 4 verse 2 says. And as well, pastors are called to shepherd the flock. That is their duty as pastors, as Peter lays out in 1 Peter 5, verses 1 to 5. Chat, GPT, OpenAI cannot do that. Would I have went to this service if it was in English and near me? Of course I would. Not as a participant, but as an observer to see how things just worked out. Thanks for watching and God bless.